the discovery of a new exoplanet has astronomers excited that it could be indeed signs of life. For centuries, the dream of discovering life beyond Earth has fascinated humanity. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, that dream might soon become a reality. The telescope has revealed a fascinating secret in Proxima Centauri, the closest star system to us. Amidst its planets, Proxima b stands out with strange artificial lights, leaving the scientific community baffled and intrigued. Could this be the long-awaited evidence of intelligent life beyond our solar system? How do scientists determine whether these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on Proxima b? Join us as we delve into how the James Webb Telescope just detected city light 7 trillion miles from Earth. Humans have always been intensely curious about the secrets of the universe. Through technological innovations, our innate drive to explore the Earth and sky continues to push us. After thousands of years of civilization, Earth remains the only planet that we know to host life. As such, the age-old question persists, are we the only inhabitants of the universe, or are there civilizations hidden amongst the stars just waiting for us to find them? To find the answer to this difficult question, two American astronomers, Jill Tata and Thomas Pearson, kicked off a project called Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This non-profit endeavor aims to sift through cosmic space, focusing on spaceborne radio signals. These radio waves are capable of traveling immense distances and are the primary means for potential extraterrestrial communication. To this end, 42 radio telescopes located in the heart of the Californian Cascade Mountains were carefully tuned to the frequencies of the cosmos. These radio telescopes, known as the Allen Telescope Array, were designed to catch any alien signal from space. While scientists have scanned the sky for credible signals over many years, to date, there is no convincing evidence of signals originating from an alien civilization. However, recent reports from NASA suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have spotted artificial city lights from a nearby planet. Is there any substance to this? Let's find out. The successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope is humanity's giant step forward in understanding the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is the most advanced instrument in the history of mankind to understand what the universe holds. Located about one million miles away from Earth, this giant telescope is our window to the earliest eras of the universe. It brings the previously elusive observation points closer, shedding light on the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. Astronomers harness the JWST's capabilities, cutting-edge cameras, and filters to capture and analyze the intricate colors surrounding celestial objects. Through the JWST, researchers are able to isolate and collect valuable information about the chemical compositions and physical properties of celestial bodies in the far reaches of the universe. They achieved this feat by isolating specific wavelengths of light. Beyond mere observation, JWST explores and investigates the atmospheres of exoplanets for traces of life. Its unparalleled power to observe beyond the limits of time and space has led to some of the most remarkable findings. For example, through the telescope, astronomers have discovered more mass than previously believed to exist in the universe, hidden away in several massive galaxies. In fact, this finding has questioned earlier notions about the layout and proportions of the universe. With humanity setting out to explore the farthest reaches of the cosmos, the JWST will be a central tool in solving the mysteries of isolated worlds and penciling new writing in astrophysical knowledge. Just two decades ago, the realm beyond our solar system remained largely uncharted and devoid of known planets. However, astronomers have since unveiled over 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, a remarkable testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement. According to NASA, this catalogue may be the tip of the celestial iceberg, hinting at the existence of trillions more exoplanets scattered throughout the cosmos. In the tireless exploration for extraterrestrial life, scientists continue to look toward the chance of detecting alien habitats beyond where we have been before. As fate would have it, during the Galileo spacecraft's journey to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument unexpectedly revealed a distinct spectral signature that indicated terrestrial vegetation. This historic discovery marks the first time scientists have found a biosignature, the Vegetation Red Edge, VRE. The VRE looks at alien life differently by focusing on the way it reflects light. 
Thanks to VRE, the JWST is expected to unveil the riddles of extraterrestrial environments. It will do this by carefully mapping the orbital parameters of potentially habitable distant extrasolar planets located within the habitable zones of their alien parent stars. If detected, these VRE signals could be crucial evidence in the search for intelligent life outside our planet. It will be the beginning of a new journey for us in our quest to discover the mysteries of the universe. As sunlight goes through the atmospheric layers, the disintegrated light, which carries different wavelengths, is absorbed by the atoms and molecules in these layers. This absorption gives rise to a typical spectral pattern, similar to exclusive fingerprints that can be deciphered through spectroscopic analysis. It is theorized that when light from a star reaches a planet, the JWST will be able to detect it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Thus, the JWST could be the key to disclosing the atmospheric composition of distant planets, an essential indication of their potential terrestrial life. Earth-sized planets boasting atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide like Earth might harbor conditions conducive to life as we know it. However, the absence of expected elements or the presence of unusual compounds could hint at alternative forms of life or even technological civilizations. Interestingly, discovered chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are man-made compounds mainly used for refrigeration and industrial purposes, might help scientists to prove the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization. If the JWST finds such artificial molecules in the atmosphere of exoplanets, it will be strong proof of extraterrestrial activity outside our solar system. This poses a very interesting venture for cosmic researchers, opening a new gate into the atmospheric compositions of other worlds and the possibility of mysterious civilizations over and beyond the Milky Way. Certainly, the revelation about life beyond our planet is characterized by several possibilities that go beyond the limitations of earthly biology. While we often envision life as we know it thriving in temperate climates like ours, the reality may prove far more varied and extreme. For example, extremophiles, a fascinating group of organisms predominantly composed of bacteria, challenge what we understand as a suitable habitat. These hardy life organisms can effortlessly survive and even blossom in conditions that are generally described as extremely severe. Extremophiles can tolerate even the most terrible environment with temperatures up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and pH levels below 3. They are amazing examples of the durability of living things under difficult conditions. As such, the unlimited dimensions of the universe and the countless environments associated with it tell us that our search for extraterrestrial life should be extensive. Though the mentioned planets resembling the Earth and moving around stable sun-like stars provide true opportunities, we should also think about alternative scenarios. Prime candidates for exploration may include exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, M dwarfs, which are more abundant in the universe. However, despite their lower brightness and cooler temperatures compared to our sun, these stars offer unique opportunities to investigate the potential for life in diverse environments. The prolonged lifespan of red dwarf stars provides abundant opportunity for the slow, complex processes of life's emergence and evolution to unfold. Located approximately 40 light-years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system beckons as a prime target for the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, mission. This spectacular system, consisting of a dim red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets, orbits the serene red dwarf star. Three of these detected planets are designated as habitable planets and may very likely have water on their surfaces. Even though it is smaller and cooler than our sun, the TRAPPIST-1 star emits a soft and Earth-like light that is suitable for supporting life on its orbiting planets. Among the various stars in the cosmic region, Proxima Centauri emerges as a beacon of potential. At a distance of just 4.25 light-years from the sun, which makes Proxima Centauri the closest star to ours, this star can be observed in its faint glow. It is, in fact, barely noticeable amid the darkness of the night sky. However, its weak luminosity means that any habitable planets orbiting it must maintain a close distance. The distance of any habitable planet to Proxima Centauri must be approximately 20 times nearer than Earth to the Sun. Without fulfilling this condition, none of its planets can support life-sustaining conditions like our planet. In a captivating revelation on August 24, 2016, astronomers discovered a planet with 1.3 times the mass of Earth located within Centauri's habitable zone. 
This Goldilocks-like region offers a delicate balance of light intensity, as it is perfectly balanced to melt ice for water and potentially nurture the seeds of life. Proxima b is an astronomical paradox. Orbiting around Proxima Centauri, its host star, this planet, which is surprisingly only 4.6 million miles away from its small red star, has many situations threatening its ability to sustain life. Proxima b is very close to its host star, Proxima Centauri, which exposes it to powerful solar winds that can strip away its atmosphere and make it lifeless. But despite all these tough circumstances, Proxima b basks in the light of its tiny star, receiving enough sunlight to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water is in the liquid form. However, the planet's close orbit likely results in tidal locking. This consequently leads to one hemisphere being subjected to constant intense sunlight, while the other experiences total darkness. The situation resembles the Moon's relationship with Earth in our solar system. With just 18% of the mass of the Sun, Proxima Centauri emits a faint glow. By emitting significantly less light than expected, coupled with its close proximity to Proxima b, only 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, Proxima Centauri challenges conventional expectations. It indicates that Proxima b might not be the blazing hell one would expect for a planet so close to its star. Despite the challenges posed by its close orbit and the potential loss of its atmosphere to solar winds, Proxima b offers compelling possibilities. If it retains a protective atmosphere capable of trapping heat, liquid water could conceivably exist on its surface, opening the door to the captivating prospect of habitability beyond Earth. With Proxima b receiving only 65% of Earth's total solar energy, its prospects for fostering life are quite low. The planet's possible state of tidal locking creates extreme temperature differentials between its scorching day and frigid night. These harsh conditions, compounded by the planet's proximity to Proxima Centauri, subject Proxima b to intense radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, making it inhospitable to life as we know it. Furthermore, Proxima b is bombarded by high-energy particles during stellar flare-ups. Unless the planet boasts a protective magnetic field like Earth, these bombardments could strip away its atmosphere, taking away the conditions necessary for life to thrive. Realistic modeling suggests that tidally locked planets like Proxima b may experience rapid atmospheric collapse as volatile gases freeze out on the night side. Unlike Earth, where volcanic activity replenishes the atmosphere, Proxima b lacks such mechanisms for atmospheric renewal. The mysteries surrounding Proxima b extend beyond its surface conditions to its potential for harboring advanced civilizations. So far, our current knowledge offers little insight into Proxima b's volcanic activity or the strength of its magnetic field. However, the tempting possibility of an atmosphere fuels speculation about the planet's potential for hosting life. The presence of an atmosphere on Proxima b would suggest the existence of seas and raise the prospect of life. The quest to uncover signs of worldly civilizations on Proxima b has intensified, driven by the hypothesis that such beings may have devised ingenious solutions to overcome the planet's inhospitable conditions. One intriguing concept proposes the deployment of vast solar panels across Proxima b's day side. These panels would harness the star's energy to illuminate and warm the perpetually dark and cold night side. Such an endeavor could transform the bleak landscape into habitable zones that can support life. The recent discovery of Proxima b has also sparked a heated race among astronomers to determine if it crosses its star's face as seen from Earth. These movements would allow scientists to measure the planet's size and mass. Subsequently, they will calculate its density, confirming its rocky composition and offering insights into the materials that constitute its rocks. Furthermore, starlight passing through Proxima b's atmosphere during these movements provides hints about the composition of its atmosphere and habitability. Despite the challenges, the search to unravel the mystery of Proxima b remains a priority. This drive is powered by the unquenchable human thirst for knowledge and the possibility of other life forms outside our solar system. Another factor to consider is Proxima Centauri's chaotic character, which is capable of significant amounts of flares. This increases the complexity of investigating the habitable world of Proxima b. Astronomer David Kipping from Columbia University describes the star as tricky, highlighting the challenge posed by its variable heating patterns. While rocky planets typically absorb sunlight and emit infrared radiation, Proxima's case differs. 
its infrared signature differs from that of its host star, Proxima Centauri, presenting a unique opportunity for observation. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, comes to the rescue, as it can detect infrared wavelengths. Proxima's unique infrared heat signature is what will help us discover the hidden secrets of its atmosphere. The state-of-the-art infrared imaging capabilities of the JWST are well prepared to reveal the mystery of Proxima B's atmospheric components and give unique insights into the possibilities of living on it. Moreover, the JWST infrared sensitivity extends exploration to Proxima B's night side. Despite the daunting challenge of detecting faint artificial illumination against cosmic darkness, the JWST's advanced technology enables it to discern even the faintest glimmers of light. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to verify the rumors of city lights on Proxima B's night side, even if they were as faint as the lights we currently use at night. The telescope can sense artificial illumination provided it falls within a frequency band 1,000 times narrower than the starlight. Proxima B's unique environment presents a captivating relationship between its surface features and stellar interactions. The planet's day side, if filled with many solar panels, will harness the star's radiant energy. At the same time,